Hey guys, so I wanted to do a quick little video on how to use and hook up the LG MV tool. So I'm working on a VRF system right now and this is our LG MV connection right there. But a lot of your residential units, it will look slightly different. It'll look something like one of these over here. But in the LG MV tool kit, they give you a couple different wires here. First, they give you this piece here, which is the actual device. And it's got a USB connection on it. But they also give you, they also give you this cable here, which is the cable, it's almost like a cheater cord cable that I need on the BRF. But most of the time, you can just use this one right here to plug right into your board. So on this one, I need my cheater cord though, because this is a little bit of an older system. So you're going to plug this in to there, and then this end here will plug in plug in there and then our tool will plug into the end of here so it's okay to let it just dangle here I don't know what else you're gonna do with it all right there we have it. so it's hooked up now and what you're gonna want is the LG MV business You're gonna want the latest version. So right now, as of March, I'm sorry, April 6th, the latest version is 1.2.0, all right? And what this thing's gonna do is it's going to create a Wi-Fi signal. So you wanna to go to your Wi-Fi and connect and find it. Mine's called LGMV 5372-D0. You want to connect to that as if you were connecting to a Wi-Fi signal. Once you have that connected, you can go to monitoring data, and then you're going to get this screen here, Wi-Fi with a check on it, and then you, you hit the next, right like that, and it's going to load. And then you're, if you're connected, if it finds your device, you'll get this little green dot here. And then you hit go again. Now, I've connected to this system before, but it uh, apparently with the new software, it does automatically know what system you have here. So you want to put, but if you're just using it for the first time, you'll put your distributor's name, your company name, and you can put the model number in and your site information, and then uh, hit your next arrow there. couple seconds later everything's gonna pop up now it's gonna be a minute or so nope. all right now we've changed the PSI it starts out in a, in a different parameter but after a minute or so it changes to PSI G and then it's gonna confirm that you want to start saving the data and you press OK and it's automatically saving now. So you can go back and look at this later and see what the thing was doing. So you got all kinds of information here, what its high pressure target is, what the high pressure actually is, low pressure, uh, low pressure target, uh, all your thermistor temperatures, uh, what kind of, um, which valves are open right now, uh, what your sensors are reading, the electrical information, how many amps it's pulling, what kind of voltage it's using, and then something really neat is you can go to the indoor control here, and all the indoor controls, for one, you can see exactly what temperatures they're running at, but you can control every indoor unit from here too. Just click on the box which ones you want to control, and go over here, just like this little, looks like one of their wall controls, 
make your adjustments, hit start, and it will change that adjustment to what you set it for. So it's pretty easy setting it up. Um, it's pretty easy to use too, just looking at everything. There's a bunch of stuff this thing does um, that you can, you can do. But hopefully this helps somebody. So there you have it, that's the LG MV tool. I use it all the time on all the LG equipment. First thing I do is look up my LG MV tool. I hook it up, see what the thing's doing first before I do anything else. Uh, you can pull a uh, black box data on it to see uh, what kind of error codes you were throwing and then go from there. So, all right guys, that's gonna be it for this one. Please like this video and subscribe for more content like this. Uh, we can try to grow this channel and uh, I can show you guys what I do every day. I run into a lot of stuff every day and I, I think it's time I start sharing it all with everybody. So, all right guys, catch you on the next one.